Ahoy and welcome aboard to another art video. This video is going to be a little different because as you can see, I already completed the sketch. I'm just going to ink it and color it. So if you have an unfinished piece, why don't you join me on this cruise? I did the sketch a few months ago, but I didn't have a mount for my phone to record it. The tripod I used to record the other two videos broke a few days before I moved to my dad's. Not to mention, I was set up in the living room when I was doing the sketch. So it would have been rude for me to take everything out just to record myself. I bought this arm mount thingy and I have it collapsed onto my flat surface easel. So sorry about the shaking. <laughs> I want to make a quick disclaimer before I start talking about what I wish to discuss in this video. This is going to be quite... A a serious one. <laughs> I'm going to mention personal things that may not be suitable for most. I discovered Crywolf back in January of 2014. I recall that well because I had just started writing a story I'm currently still working on and hoping to publish soon in honor of my mom. Due to depression, I used to struggle with sleeping. I would stay up until sunrise. While I stayed up, writing my story, I would go through those YouTube channels that upload music in search of new artists. That was how I came across Stay, and I instantly fell in love with it and Justin's voice. From that day on, <laughs> I've been a huge fan of his. Whenever I would have negative thoughts, I would take out either my computer or sketchbook, put in my earphones, and play his music. It helped me escape from reality and into the world of my story as I wrote or drew out one of my children. <laughs> it helped me forget the terrible thoughts I had. Because of this, I was able to accomplish a lot. I had a set age I didn't want to live past, and this year will be 10 years since I overcame that. My time in between turning 17, the age I had set, and 2014 was the worst because I just didn't want to continue anymore. With his music helping me concentrate on something I'm passionate about rather than the thoughts of no longer wanting to live, I was able to gain the confidence to return to school to get my high set, which is just another type of GED, and go to college. All because I was more and more invested in this story and wanted to go off to study animation so I can one day animate it, and of course to publish novels as well. I even sold my PlayStation 3 to buy art supplies and because I found myself not playing as much anymore from how focused I was on this one thing. Funny story, that PlayStation actually made its way back to me because I had sold it to my sister and she recently just gave it back to me. <laughs> I became willing to start taking my medication. I began to take care of myself better. I felt like I was gaining weight. I started treatment to transition, but the biggest accomplishment in all of this was that I managed to teach myself how to read and spell. I mean, I had to if I want to be an author. I have a learning disability that affects my reading and writing as well as my speech, but I'm sure it's not that noticeable in my art videos because I have to do multiple takes just so people will be able to understand me. I went from reading and spelling at a 5th grade level to a college level in just that one year of starting my story. I finally had a job that I frankly enjoyed and loved because it was one that I've been doing since she became unable to do certain things and that was taking care of my mom. From January of 2014, my life was slowly becoming great and wonderful. I was filled with bliss pretty much every day. I was going to transfer the spring to university and from there I was going to try to work at the high school down the street from us to save up to publish my novels and go on adventures with my friends. My near future was seeming as bright as it would get. Unfortunately, I've fallen back into these dark times after my mom passed away. I fear it's much worse than it was then. I have the sense of belonging nowhere. 
I've been in a lot of physical pain to the point I throw up in a wisdom tooth that had to join the party and causes pain all the way down to my shoulder and chest. And this pain only adds to me not wanting to exist anymore because I just can't handle it. I'm not in the right mental state to be dealing with this sort of thing right now. It's also hard to continue life without the one person who knew how to tend to your special needs. I think a lot of people forget that there was more than one reason why I was in special education classes as a child and teenagers and still require that similar help in college. I also feel terrible because I guess in a way I'm searching for someone who can help me in that area the way she did. But no, all I'm doing is bothering people. All I can do for now is hope that I overcome this too. While I was finishing this drawing, it reminded me a lot of my mom because she, along with everyone who knows me, knew how much I love him as an artist. Before I had money of my own, she was the one who bought me all his albums. She would, <laughs> she would say he was my boyfriend from how much I would mention I love his music. <laughs> I miss her so much. <laughs> If you're someone who happened to stumble upon my video or one of my friends is forcing you to watch it and never heard of Crywolf, please check him out. His music will make you feel emotions you never knew existed. He is such a talented dude, as well as a generous soul. He cares about his fans as much as we care about him. I have been fortunate enough to meet him twice. The first time I met him, I thought it was going to be this awkward experience of the love coming one way where I would be starstruck and he would just be ready to leave home after the concert, but it never is. When you go up to meet him, even though it's the first time you've met him, he treats you like your old pal seeing each other for the first time in years and is just as excited to see you. He hugs you with so much love. They say never meet your heroes, but Crywolf is definitely among the few you should meet if you're given the opportunity. I gave him this yellow line behind him and underneath his feet because I was attempting to make it seem like there was some sort of light source but because I'm still learning, it didn't translate well. However, at the end of the video you'll see I did a digital version of it and managed to do what I had intended to do here. So I'll wait until I have it on screen to say my reasoning for it. This isn't my first time creating fan art of Crywolf. Here's a piece I created back when I was first getting into Copic markers, then redid it when Frankie bought me the tablet I still use to draw digitally. 
The first time I met Crywolf, I actually gave him a print of the digital one. <laughs> I was attempting to use my grays to try to separate each dark color and avoid making him look like a void, but I failed. I still like how it turned out though. The outfit I dressed him up in is the outfit he wore to, and I hope I'm recalling this correctly, promote the mask. I really wanted to pick one up but unfortunately couldn't at the time. I really hope he brings them back. Also, have you noticed a little something new on my wrist? A little banana with the words bananas underneath it? My siblings and I, all six of us, got a banana with my mom's handwriting underneath it in her honor. She fucking loved bananas. If you happen to be a fellow fan, what are your top 5 songs by him? Mine are Stay. Stay will forever be my favorite, not only because I just love it, but because it holds that special spot in my heart for helping me discover him. Close behind it is Ribcage, right underneath Ribcage is Strike, Silk, and Rising Rising.
I'm fully aware he will never see this, but on the off chance that he may find this video, I want to say thank you, Justin. With the help of your music, I was able to overcome one of the most difficult times in my life and accomplish things I never thought I would. You helped me continue with life and find reasons worth living, and things became amazing for me for a while. Here's the completed piece beside the digital version. Personally, I love the digital one more only because I was able to experiment without fear of ruining it and did everything I wanted to do to the traditional one. Now I can speak about the light source. Like many of us, Crywolf as well lives or lived in the darkness. Because he knows what it is to feel pain and suffering, he is the light that guides us out of the darkness so we too may not suffer. He has helped many people through his music. I know this for a fact because I have seen many people mention how his music has helped them through troubling times. He truly is amazing. Also quick shout out to the awesome chick who let me hang out with her during one of the concerts because I have horrible anxiety and I was alone that day. His fans are just as amazing. Sorry this one was a little too serious, but thank you for watching and I hope you remain on board to join me on this journey. Farewell for now. Surprise, bitch! I want to quickly add that if you're someone who's struggling with depression and all you want is to speak to someone, I'll link my art Instagram down in the description. Please feel free to reach out. My DMs are always open, mostly because I, I have no idea how you close them. Of course, this also automatically applies to all my friends as well. Just message me wherever you feel like it.